All right, so we're out here in West Texas, and last night I was talking to these guys and showing them kind of like a different technique on how to gut rabbit. So we're still driving around the truck, and we see this beautiful cottontail, and we want to keep driving, we want to get the guts out. There's this method called the squeeze method, where it doesn't utilize a knife, it doesn't utilize anything else, where you can get all the guts out completely clean and keep the entire meat from getting spoiled with dust or debris. This is great if you're upland game hunting, and you want to throw it in your in your game bag. You can be done with jackrabbits. You can be done with uh, with cottontails. So what, what you do is you, you take the head up top on this cottontail, and you're going to actually kind of squeeze your fingers right below where the rib cage is. You can feel the rib cage for the rib cage right there. So what you're going to do, I, I'm actually I'll let you do it because I've done this a million times. So with the feet, you're going to go right below the rib cage. Yep. And what you're actually going to do is you're going to squeeze. Then you're going to squeeze and you're going to keep moving your hands hand over hand. hand over hand all the way keeping it tight and what's going to happen is all the internal organs and guts are going to come right out the anus and it's going to just kind of pop but it's going to keep everything clean so now move that hand up here keep squeezing move that hand up there it starts getting tighter as you yep. start getting more and it's going to this is going to keep pushing 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 and now your next hand is going to go up you don't it's just kind of just go like this with just it. walk it yep Keep it down because it's going to. Next hand over. One more. Keep going, keep going. Right there. Okay, so keep squeezing. So now everything's out. The, the, all the glands, all the intestines. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're just going to flick it to the side away from me. And just like that, it's clean. You're not bloody, you're not gutty. And you have a completely clean rabbit. <laughs> 100% clean, all the guts are out of it, no knife. Now, it's not gonna get dust in it, it's not gonna get dirt in it, it's not gonna get debris in it. Now, we can actually just take this and we can start throw it right in the cooler, throw it right in our bag, and it's gonna be good to go. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so that's what they used to do. Indians used to do that as well. They'd sit there and then they'd hang it off the side of their horses and keep all the stuff out of it, but they didn't have to worry about spoilage with any of the intestines and guts, and everything's out of it from heart, lung, do you ever, all the way down. Is there a chance? Like, you split it and like, like, you, you have to make sure you're behind it. Like, because I felt it there, but right? Never split it where like it comes out, it comes up the other way. Or no, something. and well, if, if, you, if you're shooting it and you come in and you shoot it on the side, sometimes you have to be careful because okay. as you're doing it, it'll come out a different spot. Okay, but when we're look when the rabbit's looking at us and we're aiming for the head, right? Yeah. All you're doing is you're just kind of going down. Now, I've, I've been with some guys who are really strong and they just go Wah! straight down, okay. but that hand over hand technique that pops out. And it's completely clean and ready to go. Okay. Well, I'm glad you yeah. <laughs> that easy, that quick, no excuses. You don't need a knife. I mean, even you can do it. Yeah, I mean, if I can do it, anybody <laughs> can do it. Talk to you later.